a couple of days ago, I decided that I was going to try to build a web app entirely with AI for no good reason other than to see if it could be done. So I started using Replit with their new AI agent that essentially writes code for you. You give it natural language instructions, it writes the code. Um, I'm not big on documentation or videos like an idiot, and so I jumped in like an idiot. And uh, as you can see, I had a lot of false starts. I tried numerous times to get this working. Sometimes I ran into dead ends, and sometimes their AI just kind of died on me. Um, there was a learning curve that I figured out. So what I ended up with was I finally got it working, figured out that if I did cache clearing hard reloads and things like that, and uh, was just patient with the AI that I could get it working. Um, a couple of the keys were really to give it smaller tasks, don't overload it all at once. And then I relied heavily on their very handy rollback function, which allows you to roll back <laughs> any of any of the things that it had done. So a lot of times what I found was the AI would misunderstand me or I would give it poor instructions and it would do something a little bit wild. Rather than having it try to fix that, I would just roll it back and try again. And that seemed to work. But as you can see, I had 53 different steps here until I ran out of Replit credits. And this is kind of annoying because when you have that many, it blocks the entire chat, but that's okay. But you can see a lot of this was really tiny, tiny fixes. Um, so what I built was, let's see if it comes up. What I built was uh, a little widget called BuyerBot. It's a little widget that sits on any e-commerce website and allows a user to add products to a list and then create a polling website that asks their friends which one they should buy. So this marketing site, I cheated a little bit and spun it up using Claude because I was already out of credits. And so I put this together really quickly, but it works and it was stupid easy to deploy. So that was all good for me. I'm just going to jump in and kind of show you what it's doing. So this is the live site. I was able to deploy it to an actual website and I am able to I'm able to register an account. So I'm able to register an account and it takes me right to a little dashboard. And I have this integration section where I can copy a block of code or just grab my merchant ID here. So what I did was I spun up a little website also made with Replit. You can see I've got a little widget here that I can add this product to the poll. Maybe I want a smartwatch. And add that to the poll. And maybe let's think about getting a tablet as well. Boom. Right now, it'll disable this button when you're not actively using it. And I can remove these if I want. Maybe I don't care about the laptop. The smartwatch I can't add, it's already been added, but the earbuds, sure, let's add those. Now I can go just click Ask My Audience. And when I click Ask My Audience, it is going to create a poll. And I can upvote one of these. I can share the poll on social media to ask my friends what I should buy. I can just copy the link. And now I'm going to open an incognito window. When I paste that link, the next person can vote. Tablet's got two votes. And I'll do it one more time. And I'll upvote the smartwatch this time. So now what happens is if it was working the way it needs to, then you would see statistics. There'd be a list of polls here, some stats. It gave nice little progress bars, tells you what products are winning, um, and it can give you the information of the person that created the poll. So there's a lot that I still want to do, notably adding custom branding, styling, uh, custom styling. Um, what I found was that this is incredibly easy. You have to be very careful about what you say to the AI to make sure that it's understanding what you mean, um, but also don't give it too many tasks all at once. You boil the ocean and it's just gonna choke. The other thing is that it you do need to know some code because quite frequently it'll truncate the code because output tokens are expensive when it comes to AI. And so rather than giving you back my say, say my entire widget file all at once, it's only 432 lines, but if it only needs to change 10 lines, it'll truncate the rest. And it's up to you to cobble that file back together. So that is a little bit of a pain. 
um, but that would run you through your allotment way faster. And so I started doing that, but still hit the allotment. So let's uh, get that boosted so I can make some more cool shit. All right. Thank you for listening.